Hi guys and welcome back to Make Up My World. This week is all about My Little Pony and I've created five looks based on my favorite ponies. The first one is Pinkie Pie. This pony is all about laughter and fun and that's what I base this look on. I hope you guys like it and will give it a try. To give our bright eyeshadows a good base, we're going to start off by applying NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the color Milk. By applying this from the lash line to the brow bone, the shadows we apply will have something to stick to and it provides a nice bright canvas for the colors to pop off of. Once you've covered the entire eye space, use your fingers to blend out the product and make sure everything is nice and smooth. All over the eyelid, we're going to use this NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Electric Blue. This will give us a really good base for our blue shadow to be applied over so everything is nice and opaque. Next, we're going to take a small shader brush and pat on the color Hate from Urban Decay. This is a deep teal blue color that is super fun and complements so many eye colors. When applying, you want to take the shadow up into the crease slightly when you get to the outer corner. Next, we're going to take a flat shader brush and apply a bright yellow color just above that blue. Because yellow is a bit harder to work with, you're going to really work in small sections, going and picking up product, patting it on your eye, and repeating the process. Make sure that you follow the same shape as the blue shadow, keeping the shadow thinner on the inside and flaring it out on the outside. Don't worry about being very neat with this, just get the color on there and we'll blend everything later. Don't you just love the combination of blue and yellow together? Wow, that's bright. Let's go ahead and take a clean blending brush and blend out all of the edges to that bright yellow eyeshadow. Take your time doing this and make sure that you get all of the harsh lines around the perimeter of that shadow. You want to make sure it's nice and light and well blended. Now we're going to go ahead and create a cut crease with this Urban Decay liquid liner. Being very careful and working very slowly, you're going to go ahead and line in between the blue and the yellow eyeshadow. Don't worry if this transfers from the top of your lid to the bottom of your lid. You can always clean it up with the Q-tip. But what you're going to do is you're going to create a line from the inside of your eye all the way out to the outer corner. And when you get to the outer corner, do not go farther, do not create a cat eye, just make a half moon shape from the inside to the outside of your eye. As you can see, I'm really working to keep that eyeliner above the crease, but it's traveling and there's really nothing you can do about it, especially with my hooded eyelid. So I'm just taking my time and building up that color and building up that cut crease slowly but surely. And afterwards, I'll go ahead and clean up and reapply any shadow that I need to. I want this cut crease to have a bit of interest to it, so at the very end, we're going to go ahead and add a little curly cue. Pinkie Pie is so known for her curly, beautiful pink mane, so all you're going to do is add a little bit of a curl at the end of the cut crease. Aside from being really cute, it also helps to lift up the outer corner of the eye. With this Urban Decay Eye Pencil, I'm going to fill in my brows. I'm using the pencil as I would any typical eyebrow product. I'm simply defining the shape of my brows and then filling them in. I'm following up the pencil with some pink eyeshadow just to make sure that the pencil is set and that the color is nice and vibrant. Because I'm looking for that really bright pop of pink throughout my entire face, I'm going to go ahead and contour with the ColourPop blush in the color Pie. I'm going to use this as I would my normal bronzer in the places like the hollows of my cheeks, along the jawline, into my hairline, and then of course down the sides of my nose. I just want to make sure that I give it some shadow. I'm going in with the color Mochi from ColourPop for my blush. I'm just going to dab this all over my cheeks, onto the apples, just to give myself a nice healthy glow. As a base for the lower lash line, I'm going back in with that Urban Decay Pink Eye Pencil. Just smudge this right up against the lower lashes. Follow that up with the same bright pink powder we used for the brows and just smudge it into the lash line. Taking my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner, I'm going to go ahead and add in small black lines all over the work that we did on the eyes. 
I'm using it to create kind of like a cartoony type of look. So just randomly, I'm adding little lines, dashes, a little bit of uh, detail to the swirl. You're kind of just looking for that artificial shadow or those little bubbles that you see on a cartoon character. To add a bit of reflection, I'm taking a white pencil right over that black eyeliner, again, to give it a cartoony type of look. For the lashes, I'm applying mascara to both the top and the bottom. This is really just to prep for the false lashes I'm going to be adding on top. While my lashes were drying, I applied Lollipop from LA Splash. To give my lips that anime, cartoony kind of look, I'm lining them completely with a black eyeliner. Take your time while doing this and go all the way around the edges of that lip color to give your mouth a truly cartoony look. To add those cute little white streaks you see on comic books, I'm going to use my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and an angled brush to apply them directly over the lip color. Have fun with this part and add the streaks wherever you think you may have some natural shine on your lips. Now it's time to apply the false lashes. For this look, I'm using my Ardell 105s. They're nice and long in the outer corner, which I thought really fits in with this look. I use tweezers to apply my lashes so that I can get the band as close to my natural lash line as possible. I start in the middle and I work on the outer corners until I get my lashes exactly where I want them. Once they're in place, I use my fingertips to really push the band into my lashes. I found these really cute yellow and blue stick-on rhinestones to replicate Pinkie Pie's cutie mark. To apply, I just cut a few out and stuck them right on top of my temple. I thought they were really cute as the body of a balloon. To create the balloon tails, I went in with this blue eyeliner pencil just to get the shape and then I followed it up with a blue liquid liner to really define the lines and make them stand out. And that's the finished look! I hope you guys enjoyed my Pinkie Pie inspired makeup look. This was so fun to put together. Keep an eye out for my next pony, Fluttershy, tomorrow. As always, be kind to one another and bring some happiness into someone else's life today. And don't ever be afraid to be your perfectly imperfect you. See you guys later. Bye for now. Thank you for watching. Click on the video above to get another glimpse into my world. Don't forget to visit my website, MakeUpMyWorld.com, for more details on me and the products used today. Also, be sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. My details are below. Take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.